The morning after a deadly blast at an under construction power plant leaves more questions than answers and strong emotions following the deaths of five workers. I lost a couple good friends up there and uh, our heart goes out to all the families. A dozen more were injured in the Sunday explosion in Middletown, Connecticut. About 100 workers were at the Clean Energy Systems facility. We just asked the media to just give us some time so we could all grieve and heal and our prayers and thoughts go out to all the families. And I'm just so sorry that something like this happened. Workers were purging a gas line when something went wrong. The blast shook nearby communities. We felt it and I got a phone call shortly after, probably about, uh, about 11.20, and somebody had reported that this had happened. And my first thoughts were, I, you know, I have still friends that are on the job site up here. And uh, so we came down to see if we could try to, you know, help if they were looking for volunteers and stuff. The blast left huge pieces of metal that once encased the plant peeling off its sides. There are 10-foot high piles of rubble. Rescue crews combed through the debris until the early hours of the morning, but they weren't sure if they could reach one unstable section of the plant. By midday Monday, officials confirmed that no one else was missing. Those who survived could face a long recovery. These were mostly blast and then uh, secondary blast injuries. So the initial injury from the explosion followed by uh, being thrown you know, upwards of 30 or 40 feet uh, and whatever surface they may have landed on. Officials with the U.S. Chemical Safety Board are on their way to Connecticut to help investigate the cause of the explosion. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.